Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've got to look ahead to tomorrow on FC25 with our first promo of the year now fully leaked and somehow I'm logging into the game and it's taking me into the season pass. That's weird. Thought I was going to be on the home screen. Anyway, we've got Road to the Knockouts leaked, guys, and we even have official cards posted by UEFA themselves to look at today and also today. We have the first division rivals rewards of the entire year. What is that going to do to this market that is absolutely mudded? Prices are down horrendous after yesterday's really crazy panic selling market crash. Everything, is it going to bounce back today a little bit? Are we going to continue to stay mudded through the weekend with the full game release tomorrow? We got to discuss a lot of that today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's talk about yesterday's content first, starting off with this team of the week. Team of the week two, big names, Vinny, Verts, Sun, even a really good set of informs for Luis Diaz and Rafinha in here as well. A very solid team of the week. And honestly, their prices so far don't look that bad. There's a lot of like discard informs in here as well, which we will be investing in, of course, for future evolutions. And we have some, again, really good cards in here. Bremer is a really solid card as well. Only 140,000 coins. Olise's card looks awesome, except for the weak foot. That's kind of the only issue there with him. Now, for a lot of these cards, guys, we haven't talked about it too much yet because this is the second team of the week of the year. But when it comes to team of the weeks, on Wednesdays. The cards are usually very, very rare, and you do not almost ever want to buy a Team of the Week card on the first Wednesday that they are dropped. You almost never want to do that because that is always their most expensive point. Of course, we head into a promo Friday, even reward set with a bunch of pack supply. Usually those cards do end up going down, but they are really rare. So it can make for some really fun fluctuation trades. Like yesterday, Rafinha went from 380 to 450 for like a 15 minute period and then came back down to where he is now. But just wanted to shout out that brand new team of the week. I think actually people will be packing those today from some of the interesting parts of Division Rivals Rewards. Now let's go to SBCs from yesterday where we had the biggest W SBC maybe. We've had some great SBCs guys. Another insane player SBC with this Marcus Taram. That leaked player of the month card that we knew was coming finally dropped. Guys, this SBC is a whopping 23,000 coins. It's basically free to do and the card itself is really good. Now, I used it in my team and I'm not, of course, the gameplay pro here, but I will say he was best running in behind. His quick step is nice. His aerial is nice. I scored a header goal with him. His pace is really, really good. And the four-star weak foot is nice too. Genuinely an insane card for 23,000 coins. It's a must complete if you're running an RTG budget type of squad and maybe just a decent place to put some fodder at some point in the next 30 days for an 85 rated that could be evolvable in the future. You never know. So really great SBC here. And also one interesting point about this is this required an inform. I think it was the first SBC of the year that required a team of the week, and we actually saw team of the week prices go up. They were selling at 13,000 coins right at the content drop. I think now informs are back down. Yeah, they're basically back down to discard, but that was something interesting about that Taram SBC yesterday. So he's currently in my team. Got to get used to him and cook up with that card. But the biggest thing actually with that SBC being so hyped, you see a thousand 500 upvotes on the SBC and then 617 thumbs up on the SBC section of that card. Strikers are down horrendous. They're dropping like crazy. Isak yesterday at content was 38k. He is now 24,000 coins. You want to see an even bigger drop? It's crazy that you, that you would do this, but people were selling Cristiano Ronaldo yesterday too. Ronaldo went from 18k down to 13,000 coins. Alvarez, we could look at strikers that have dropped off in value for the whole entire video, guys. Like uh, Alvarez is down crazy, and even Alvarez is going out of packs tomorrow for the promo. Maybe potential investment here. I'll say it now. You decide if you want to buy 30k down to 21, 22k. Crazy, crazy drop on a lot of the strikers in the game yesterday all because of that Tehran SBC. Now, moving on to the other piece of content yesterday, it was a big SBC day, but only Tehran is really of note. We had a lone base hero player pick, which actually is um, really bad, honestly. 82 rated squad, it's pretty cheap. I mean, maybe some of you guys test this out just to try it out, but for a 10 matches loan on a hero player pick, that's undoubtedly not going to be that good. That's a super big pass from me, in my opinion. We also had another Team of the Week cosmetic Evo. This looks like it's going to be something that comes out maybe each week 
on um, Wednesdays with the team of the week, a team of the week plus cosmetic Evo number two. Still 284 rated squads. Not quite sure what the point on these uh, are yet, unless you just want to make your team links look super duper sick, but I barely have any in my club. So for me, this one does not make any sense at the moment. The other SBC that we had yesterday is another must do. It is the early access challenge. And the pack that it gives you is a prime gold players pack. Guys, I actually packed a hero from this pack yesterday. The video is on the second channel. If you want to check it out there, we did get a couple upgrades to the team yesterday. One of them was from this pack. Um, this is a really easy pack to do. It's 3,000 coins. Basically, just use one nation. Do this SBC. There's not a whole lot to say about it except just get it done because it's actually a really, really good pack. You may not get something insane, but... It's a really good pack. Now, moving on to the last thing about yesterday's content that's really shaken some things up. La Liga Player of the Month and Liga F Player of the Month voting are out. These are concept cards because both Mbappe and Lamine Yamal are in the voting for La Liga Player of the Month. And that means one of them is going to win and get an SBC in probably about two weeks time. The voting is open right now. I voted for Lamine Yamal because that's who I would want an SBC for personally. I know the inform is out. The gold card is still extinct for him right now. And Mbappe, like, that's going to be a 4 million coin SBC in the second month of the game. Do I want that? Do you want that? Maybe if you're super, you know, meta or if you just want an Mbappe that you can use for, like, the rest of the year, you want that. But, man, the Laminia Mall would be so much fun. It'd be so affordable, I would imagine. And this is probably a good example of what his card might look like, minus the Finesse Plus. But hopefully they would give him a place that plus. That would be so hype if he got the player of the month. Now, the interesting thing is... You guys know we talk about play of the months all the time. The voting by the community is such a small percent of the whole thing. I believe they usually take who has scored the most goals. Mbappe has four goals. A lot of them were penalties. Lamine Yamal has two goals, three assists. They both have five contributions. We're just going to have to see who ends up winning. I hope Yamal does. That's going to be a crazy one. Now, we have another player of the month, Liga F, where voting is out as well. I think it's going to be either Ajibade, Weir, or Pajor, just based on the contributions that each of those players have. But both of those player of the month SBCs will probably be in the next two weeks. And of course, with this leak, guess who's dropping on the market? Lamine Yamal's inform. Now, we're going to talk about the market a lot, but this guy was down at 70 thousand coins he went from 100k and actually informs were really high yesterday now he's 76k and i picked two up because i thought it was too cheap we'll see how it does today but let's start talking about the market guys because the market's absolutely cooked well let's let's actually just take a quick overview of the transfer list really fast and talk about how the market reacted yesterday the market yesterday before the content drop fantastic i talked about buying the verts yesterday right for 70 whatever k i bought them at 74 75 sold them for 83 he actually went all the way to 92k like we saw even on that esoc price guys the market was doing great yesterday the market was doing fantastic like we had drops on tuesday night wednesday morning people got up and wanted to play rivals i guess because musiala went from 96k all the way to 112 there was a huge rise in the market yesterday before content and then once content hit prices absolutely got destroyed and honestly it was for a number of reasons i just think honestly people were finishing their rivals games getting ready for the rewards that were going to be coming with division rivals rewards wanted to sell off of that and also just afraid of what is still coming this weekend with Road to the Knockouts. And we were starting to get leaks of what Road to the Knockouts was going to look like. People were saying it was going to be really, really good. We're going to talk about that in this video as well. So all those things included, you just had panic on top of panic. And when there's not a lot of people wanting to buy because there's still stuff in the future that they're worried about, prices dropping for, you just see the listings undercut each other and they go lower and they go lower and they go lower. Griezmann was 115, 120K. He was 85,000 coins just a little bit ago. Now he is rebounding back up. And actually it's crazy to look at this graph. This is the market index on Footbin. The market index yesterday, right before content was at 100 points. It dropped all the way down to 81. It's right now still 81, 82. That is a crazy crazy drop on the entire market as a whole and i love this page on footbank because it shows you some of the top gainers and losers right now and top losers in value are some of the gold cards that came back into packs like usman dembele is finally on the market now still think he's maybe a little bit overpriced because of course he was out of packs with his inform being in you see they're like isak down 11 percent schlotterbeck was down bad uh tamori's down a ton basha rashford marquinhos a whole bunch of cards that were just down like crazy but yeah the market was an absolute 
mess yesterday, com to be completely honest. And it's really demoralizing to see the prices go down as much like this and then lose coins and all that. I totally get it because, I mean, I thought the market was going to dip. I didn't think the market was going to dip this much. Benzema is, that's an undercut. That's a crazy price. Like, take this as an opportunity, honestly. I know we had the, the Taram. Just take a look around the market. If there's a striker that you want that's high-rated meta, especially if it's an out-of-packs card, like this Benzema potentially, this Trinity Rodman who's 150k, is she better than that Taram card as a striker? Probably for the meta of this game with the speed boost stuff, you know, and with the roll plus pluses that she has, that sort of thing. There are prices that are probably going to rebound. And these Team of the Week 1 cards are down a ton, and they were viewed as some of the safest investments. I think now that they're out of packs, I still think they have really good potential to rise. It's just going to take into the weekend before I think we start to see the end of the panic for what Road to Knockout is going to bring and the beginning of these cards starting to get more rare and also more people getting on the game, guys. This Friday, with the standard edition coming out tomorrow, there's going to be a lot more people getting on the game, and that's going to change the market around a whole lot, bring some new demand in, which is nice. Really, really nice for investing purposes and making a lot of coins. But, guys, the market is, like, look at this Laminium all, man. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. 104,000 coins down to 77K. Leo Messi, I mean, cheaper than he was almost... Like at the very beginning, he was like 250, 260, I think, before maybe even cheaper than that on the first day of the web app. But he went from 329 yesterday down to 240. Unbelievable price drop there for him. Usman Dembele is down over 100,000 coins there. It's just, it's going crazy. The market is just dropping loads. But with Rivals Rewards today, the question is as you see, my coin total, actually, it's covered up again. I was playing gameplay, it was covered. Hold on, let me show you. My coin total is kind of non-existent right now. I have invested. I am hoping that Division Rivals Rewards today can bring a much needed little lift to the market. Just a little lift. Nothing super crazy, but just a little lift. We're making sure you're connected to the internet. Oh, I am. Um, guys, Rivals Rewards today, first rewards of the year. So I'm gambling by being invested right now, but I'm seeing how much the market has dropped. And I can't imagine that people are going to wake up today, get coins from their rewards, and just sit there with those coins. You know what I'm saying? I think there's got to be a few cards, and I've strategically invested today, hoping to get some rises on some rare cards that are out of packs. Because the one thing about Division Rivals Rewards is you get a lot of coins. Reward upgrade for Division 5, 25K. That's, that's a sizable amount of coins. Some of these 84-plus player picks, by the way, these are tradable at the higher divisions. You have a 75 times 10 in Division 5 that's tradable, and you have a mega pack. So it's kind of like squad battle rewards, where remember on Sunday where prices dropped a lot and then went up? It's a little bit different, I think, for rivals, but similar in some, in some ways. It's a little different because you're getting a bigger, just straight-up influx of coins, 30,000 coins, bang, for Division 4. A lot of people are going to get that, right? Sure, you're going to have supply with the 75-15s. Sure, you're going to have supply on 84-plus rare gold players with this tradable player pick. With Division 4 and up for the reward upgrades, I believe this player pick is tradable for almost all of them. That's going to supply kind of like how it did the 85-plus cards on Sunday with squad battle rewards. That's going to supply some of the higher rateds. But guys, with how much the market has dropped off, it's still the early game. There's still so much demand for gameplay. And again, with these set of rewards, giving out tradable and untradable and a lot of coins, just straight-up coins with it, I just feel like there's got to be some prices on the market today that go up. And that's why I've made some investments on cards that I've seen move really well throughout this week. Like that Antoine Griezmann, if I was on when he was 85K, that would have been one that I would have been interested in. Of course, I'm looking at the players that are the most meta as possibly can find players that people want to use, players that are on this footbin popular list the whole time. Um, and one thing I will say about this set of rewards, guys, is that I will be selling these cards before the content drop today because we're going to have marquee matchups and we're going to have um, some prices dropping because of supply on that. So what I bought exactly were gold cards that are out of packs because they have informs. Rafinha was extinct at 70K. I got one on bid at 49. Got another one at 54. Sam Kerr was 125. She's uber rare. Finesse plus. Picked one up at 91. Florian Verts, who again, you just saw, I sold for 85. 65k i could not not buy that right that was a crazy low price so i also thought about picking up gold sun who yesterday on stream was extinct at 360 and we were saying like get out of this card please 
It looks like he's coming back up. He was 300K. Looks like he's 330 at the moment. And then I picked up two Lamina Malls at 76K. And I actually did buy a hero, Ricardo Carvalho, for 150 because he was 200K yesterday. And I mean, he's 170 right now, but I'm just hoping he goes back to 180 or something like that and I make 20K. That's kind of the type of flip that I'm looking to hopefully make today. I'm not expecting insane profits. I just expect to see a little bit of a kickback on the market before um, we get to the content drop just because prices got crazy, crazy cheap. So invest at your own risk. If you wanna do something along those lines, go for it. But let's talk about road to the knockouts, guys. The reason why people are panicking in the first place we had our first uh, loading screen of the year, which you maybe saw as we loaded into this video today. Road to the knockouts with the Europa League, Women's Champions League, Champions League, and Conference League design. I think that Champions League design, I know they look similar each and every year, but that one looks very nice. And as I'm going to show you now, we know three official cards tweeted by the UEFA Champions League Twitter account. This happens kind of every year. They do a uh, early reveal. They might even post a couple more players on Friday, an hour before the content drop. They've done that before in the past. But this promo is basically fully leaked. I'm going to talk about today how these cards upgrade and some of the stat boosts that we're seeing on these, which bodes well for even bigger boosts on some of the big name players like Jude, Julian Alvarez, and some of that stuff. Now, these are official cards, 100% going to be same dynamic images, same stats and everything. Notice the Vanderbeek card. Almost Hullet Gang, except for physical. Sure, it's for Girona. Maybe they will get upgrades. Maybe he won't. Ali Watkins got a pretty big boost as well. That's the one thing I want to notice. And some of the leakers were tweeting yesterday as well that this promo looks like EA is going to juice the promo card straight off the bat. Ali Watkins goes from an 85 to an 87. He owes 87 pace, 87 shooting, 77 pass, and 83 dribble. That is plus four shooting and plus four passing, plus three dribbling from his gold card. That is almost like a double inform boost. If you take a look at some of the cards that got informs yesterday, that's a really sizable boost for a plus two. And the fact is, these are live and upgrading cards depending on games one and some other aspects to it. So these are official cards, and that even adds to the sense of why the market's been dropping as much as it is because these cards are looking like they're going to be juiced. That Van de, Ven, Van de Beek looks awesome. That Wally Watkins looks absolutely usable. But let's take a look at the rest of this promo, the leaked players, and how the cards upgrade. We'll talk about the upgrades first because after looking at this, we think about Road to the Knockouts and how the whole Champions League, the whole group stages format has changed with the league phase this year. There's so many more games. It's going to take a lot longer. But with the way they're doing these upgrades... It actually will make more cards potentially reach more upgrades because instead of just getting one and then they're knocked out or whatever, most cards I think are going to get two. Take a look at this, guys. Campaign release. They get released. That's their card. Win two matches out of the eight matches in the league phase, they get a plus one overall upgrade. Some clubs are well on their way to that after winning their first one. The second upgrade criteria is score one plus goal in four different matches. That sounds pretty doable as well for almost all the clubs that are going to be getting cards. And of course, we've got a huge long list of names here. You know, we've got the Jude, the Frimpong, the Ali Watkins, Diogo Jota, who's actually an SBC, Alvarez, Doku, Posh, Sesco, Lang, Bentaleb. I mean, it's a pretty long list of names, guys, that is going to be released in this promo. There might be a mini release, so some of them could be coming out on Sunday. But that's kind of the whole promo team at the moment right there. I think that seems, it seems like most clubs should, should get this one. Not all of them, but most of them. And then most clubs should get this one as well. It feels like if you're going to score a one plus goal in four different matches, you're probably going to win two games as well. So it kind of is like you're going to get none if you're like a really bad team, or you're going to get two if you're a solid team or a decent team. And then this one's going to be tough. Finishing top two in the league, which if you look at the league phase table, means you got to get top two in the league. Of course, there's a different competition between the Conference League, Women's Champions League, and Europa League. That one's going to be difficult, but you at least have two cards, basically, unless there's going to be more than one per team. It's probably going to be one card per club. So you'd imagine two cards would get that final upgrade, but it just feels like winning two matches and scoring one plus goals in four different matches with this whole setup, since there's so many games, it's decent. Now, the only problem with this is Road to the Knockouts is going to be the longest road ever. So buckle up because January 29th is when the league phase ends for all this. So these cards are going to be live starting tomorrow, September 27th, all the way to October. Sorry, not October to 
January 29th. That's a long freaking time that these cards are going to be live and upgrading. Some cards are going to hit their upgrades quick, like obviously the ones who have already won a match. So we look at the table here, you're looking at Bayern Munich, Celtic, Leverkusen, all of these teams have already won a game. They're already on three points, right? They win one more game, boom, that's an upgrade criteria hit. That's going to impact their card price right away because they will be up in value. And then, of course, you've got the goals, which is going to be something to track over time. It's going to be really interesting to figure this out. Now, as we take a look really quick here, I want to show you guys this page again. These are all, once again, the leaked players. The stats are definitely not confirmed, but... Diogo Jota, you see him up there. He is an SBC that was leaked just a couple of days ago by Foot Sheriff. He is going to be an SBC player, most likely dropping on Friday. I don't know. We were talking about this on stream. Jota has had SBCs in the past, and his cards are not bad. You think, oh, great, five-star weak foot, four-star skill, Premier League striker. But then you look at that, those stats right there, and you're like, it's probably close to what his stats are going to be on the card. I know it's a live card. Does that really move the needle? Does that impress you enough um, if you're a liverpool fan you're saying yes but for others of us does that impress you enough that you want to add that to your team given the current meta i think it's going to come down to of course the stats it's going to come down to roles that they give the card and definitely if they give him a play style plus he's going to need a play style plus not not a one but a need and will they even give him that because one of the upgrades here is getting a play style plus at the very end so yeah, that's the only problem I will say. Back to the upgrade path. You get a plus one overall, plus one overall, and a roll plus plus, and then a pl play style plus at the end and a roll plus plus. So they really do not want to give out the play style pluses. But technically, they don't want to do that because remember last year, the first two play style plus players we had were during team of the year. Those are the first two play style plus players we got in ultimate team. This would be around that same time frame. The end of January is when you would know who's finishing in the top two in the league. Looks like we're going to be rocking with one to play style plus players or zero until January based on how this looks. So we'll see. Sometimes these upgrade paths, since it takes so long, cards fall behind the curve. But that Jota is, of course, the SBC player that's going to be coming out. And there's been no other leaks about heroes or icons, guys. So those card designs that we saw may not be related to this at all. Maybe they're out during week two of this promo. That is yet to be figured out. The leakers have not said what the names of those icon and hero designs were. So that initial kind of a shock or a panic, I guess you could say, about those being a part of the promo is not what it seemed to be at first, even though the card designs look really f uh, familiar and similar. Looks like they're going to be somehow different and not related to this. Unless we get some crazy news, that's how it looks right now now let's talk about a couple more things i showed you this pack here mini energizer pack they added some road to the knockout type packs in the code this sounds like a 10 coin pack as these guys are saying you're seeing this pack because you've entered ultimate team for at least seven days includes one rare gold player item all items untradeable it seems like a very cheap store pack but it's one gold rare it's untradeable as well I don't know where that's going to be at, but it sounds like a pretty cheap pack. And then there's some other ones that were added. There's that 10 coin Man set Manchester City loan pack, Road to the Knockouts Week 1 Foundations and Training Pack. That's probably your store packs. Uh, premium RTTK Week 1 pack. That's another store pack, I'm assuming. Liverpool loan and then Essential Season Opener pack. There's going to be packs this weekend, tradable and untradable. EA are going to add to the store. And that is once again, why we're still being very careful with the market. And we're expecting a lot of supply to come in. And the last thing, speaking of packs that has been leaked is the whole Pepsi thing again. Guys, remember how we had those Pepsi packs? I don't know if it's been truly announced yet, but it's in the code where you like get Pepsi and you can look on it and like scan the code or the QR code or something like that. I had the Pepsi kits last year. I think it's only in Europe. Um, I actually had somebody from the stream last year scan the codes and send them to me so that I could get the Pepsi kits because they were actually sick and I used them for a predominant portion of the year. That was really, really cool. So we'll see if that happens again this year, but there's something to come with the whole um, Pepsi EA combination, just like last year, probably kits, TFOs, all that stuff. Nothing promo wise in game. Now, really quickly, that's kind of the road to the knockouts promo. Let me know what card you're the most excited for, or especially what you think about the upgrades and how you think this is going to play out because yeah, they're live cards. The boosts allegedly are pretty crazy according to the leakers for the initial campaign release. But let me know down in the comments how you're feeling about that. Now, Thursday today, content. We're getting a little ahead of ourselves here, right? Content today, you guys know, Thursdays, the same tradition every year. Marquee matchups dropping today. We had last week, of course, with Manchester City and Arsenal players going up in value. 
Uh, gonna be another week of probably some supply. This Remember last week on Thursday was the day that I sold Cole Palmer for 25,000 coins, 24,000 coins. And then later in the day, he was just absolutely tanking. I don't think marquee matchups is going to destroy the market as much as it did last week. There were other factors last week involved in that as well. But I do believe there will be some supply, which is why I'm mentioning today, if you're gonna make some flips, if you're gonna try to make some coins around the content drop, I think you would want to probably sell those cards before we get to the content drop just because there will be some supply, especially if it is gold cards. I'm not sure what else to expect today. We've been getting a player SBC just about every single day, so that might be a part of it. And then also, I got to go do this. Win one match with an ultimate team, uh, any mode with three players from Liga F. I did that in squad battles. I was doing the foundations. That's crazy. I totally did that, and I won the match too. Anyway... Uh, the weekly objectives are going to reset today, which should give us some more SP opportunities to level up in the season, which right now I am level 6.25 and level 7 is a pack, level 8, level 9. I sure, I'm sure some of us are going to be getting level 9, level 10, getting to that level 11 player item nacho kill. So there's that there. Maybe a player SPC, as I mentioned, another squad foundations player, a last world tour player. We'll have to see. There is also yesterday, I think it was Foot Scoreboard, who tweeted... Um, let me find his Twitter really, really quick. He tweeted a picture of a card design that was called the Virtual Bundesliga. Um, it had Virtual Bundesliga at the top. I don't know what this is related to. I don't know if there's any leaked content to come with this, but that was posted yesterday. Maybe a hint of things to come. And I was mistaken, guys. I think I mentioned in yesterday's video that the Rush objectives refresh today. That is false. The Rush objectives are going to refresh tomorrow on Friday. And speaking of Rush and speaking of things really quick evolutions we didn't have a new one yesterday but let me know if you guys think something changed here because in the cosmetics part here um i have the club legends but the one that was purple i could have swore that that was out for like nine more days and all of a sudden it has disappeared so i'm not quite sure on that and then also the rush mode where ea had us playing with silvers they they changed the timer on that um they changed the timer on that one as well, and that one has now been taken away. So all we have is Welcome to Rush. So really confused um, what is going on there. And yeah, one day, two hours until the Rush. It says Rush season ends. Um, yeah, really, really weird at the moment. Some of these timers look a little off. Some of the things that EA are doing with that, a little bit shady. We'll have to see if they change anything out today or add Rush requirements back in. We will have to see. We're also going to have to see if I make profit on some of these buys that I've made or if I lose coins, but I'm going to send it because why not? We got to try to make some more coins. We're on the road to a million. We're currently at about 650K after some good trades yesterday, but we got to get more coins up, man. Need coins for the promo tomorrow. Road to the knockouts. Again, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about RTTK, how you're feeling about it, and who you're going to vote for for La Liga Player of the Month. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link's down below in the description. And check out the second channel for the TFATG as always. It's been Nathan for the count. Have a great Thursday. Peace out.